I've been testing Ninja's NC300 series ice cream maker. It works in a somewhat different way to most other ice cream makers which either have you freezing a bowl which then gently rotates with the ingredients inside to create the ice cream or putting the ingredients into a sort of mini refrigerator with its own compressor. With this though, you mix together your ingredients first and put them into one of the three supplied tubs. You then attach a lid and put the tub in the freezer for at least 24 hours, making sure it's level so that the frozen surface is flat. You can store it in the freezer for up to a recommended two weeks. Then when you're ready for dessert, you take the tub out of the freezer, remove the tub lid, place the tub into the outer container here, and then attach the lid of the outer container, which contains a very strong blade that goes on there once we align the markings. Good. And then we put that into the machine, which looks rather like a cross between a, a sort of blender and a coffee machine. It is, of course, neither of these things. Uh, you switch it on and uh, the blade starts to spin and gets gently lowered and raised through the frozen mixture to create your chosen dessert, a process Ninja calls creamifying. Now there are six different programs easily selected through these clear buttons, ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, gelato and milkshake. Um, the different programs vary the speed of the blade and the duration of the raising and lowering. To get to ice cream, the process is shorter and slower than for sorbet, for example. This particular tub is a yoghurt-based ice cream. Ingredients a yoghurt, cream, milk, sugar and vanilla extract. And to creamify it, you use the ice cream function. Now, it's ready in under two minutes. Let's see what it looks like inside. Release with the button there. Now, oh. mm. well, that looks very much like ice cream. If that wasn't ice creamy enough, there is a respin function where you can sort of mix it up a bit more. Uh, I find sometimes it can be a bit flaky, not in this case, uh, but when you spoon it out, it gets creamier. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good, actually. There's a helpful recipe guide to get you started, and I've been trying quite a selection. Some are really simple. Pineapple sorbet requires only one ingredient, tinned pineapples. I preferred fresh strawberries and the strawberry sorbet, which was very, very tasty and just made from strawberries with a bit of caster sugar. Now, traditional ice cream often starts with eggs, and the only recipes with the eggs for this machine are headed gelato. I tried a recipe with honey. I found this is one of my favourites to date. Nicely creamy and very tasty. I tried basic vanilla ice cream along with double cream and whole milk and used some chocolate chips to add in, creating a hole and uh, putting them in via the mix-in function. It was good, but not quite as good as the gelato. Chocolate ice cream was also good and it uses cocoa powder to give the flavour and colour. I really enjoyed that. It was right up there with the strawberry sorbet and the honey gelato. Now, if you don't finish the full container, you can refreeze and apply the same processing function you did first time round when you take it out the freezer. Though you do need to tamp down what remains in the pot to provide a reasonably flat surface prior to refreezing. If it's not even, it can damage the blade. All the tubs and lids are dishwashable, though they do recommend the lower temperature top rack. And frankly, they're a doddle to clean anyway. Now, if all this talk of double cream and whole milk sounds a bit too rich for you, there are lighter recipes. I tried light vanilla ice cream, which features single cream, light agave syrup, stevia granules and semi-skimmed milk, and that was great. Dairy-free mint chip ice cream with unsweetened coconut milk and vegan chocolate chips was also good though slightly lacking in a traditional ice cream texture. I've actually enjoyed all the desserts that this ice cream maker has helped me to create. And I really don't mind the fact that you have to prepare your mixture 24 hours in advance. 
because uh, with other ice cream makers you have to predict fairly accurately when you want to consume your ice cream and start the churning sometime beforehand. With the Ninja though, your tubs are on standby in the freezer waiting to be converted into ice cream in under two minutes whenever that ice cream craving strikes. And for that reason, and because it's great fun to use, it's my current ice cream maker of choice.